What's going on everybody, Kalipas Tech here coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm going to be going over some of the more basic functions of the T-Mobile Revel 6 5G to help you get more comfortable using it. Now before we go any further, as always, I do want to remind you to hit that subscribe button, and in case you want to learn more about this phone, I will be linking to several other videos about it in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a couple different ways to get to your settings, because we are going to be doing that quite a bit. So the first way, of course, is from the settings app itself. So as you can see, I have mine right here, but if you can't find it on your home screen, what you're going to want to do is swipe up like this. And this right here is what's called your app drawer, which is basically going to show you all the apps on your phone. So as you can see, in the app drawer, the settings app is right here. And if you want to add it to your home screen, all you have to do is press and hold and drag it wherever you want. So that's one way to do it. In addition to this, you can also swipe down from the top like this one more time. And as you can see, the settings icon is right here too. But now that we've gone over how to get to your settings, let's take a look at how you can change your wallpaper. So to do this, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to settings. From here, go to wallpaper and style. So right here. From this menu, of course, go to change wallpaper. And from here, you can choose between on device wallpapers or your own photos. So we're going to go here. Choose a wallpaper. It's going to give you a preview. So home screen and lock screen. Once everything looks good, hit this check mark. And now you have the choice between home screen, lock screen, and both. So I'm going to hit both. And now, as you can see, the wallpaper has been changed. Now that was easy enough, but I'm going to show you a quicker and more convenient way to change your wallpaper and also get to some other home screen settings. So for this, instead of opening your settings, press and hold your finger on any blank spot on your home screen like this. And as you can see, this menu is going to show up. From here, you can change your wallpaper, add and remove widgets, and customize some other home screen settings. Now I'm going to show you how to manage which apps can send you notifications. This is definitely an important thing to do early on when you get your phone, because by default, pretty much any app you download is going to send you notifications. And of course, the more apps you get, the more notifications you can get. And not only can this get annoying, but getting a bunch of notifications you don't care about makes it a lot easier to miss something important. So to manage your notifications, what you're going to want to do is go to settings. From here, go to notifications. From this menu, go to app settings. And as you can see, by default, it is going to show you the most recent. But if you want to see all the apps, hit this drop down, select all apps. And now, as you can see, it's going to show you pretty much every app on your phone. And to turn off notifications, simply toggle it off right here. Now, as you can see here, there are some notifications you can't turn off. But don't worry, these are system related. And you're most likely never going to get them anyway. Now we're going to take a quick look at the sound menu. To get to the sound menu, as always, we're going to go to settings. From here, go to sound. And the first thing we're going to see here is a few different volumes. Media volume, so if you're watching a video, listening to music, playing a game, something like that. Call volume, so the earpiece when you're on a call. Ring and notification volume, pretty self-explanatory. And then finally, alarm volume. Also keep in mind, if you're doing something else on your phone and you press the volume keys, by default it is going to control your ring and notification volume. But if you want, you can hit these dots right here, and you can change pretty much everything else. Under the volumes, we got do not disturb. And while you can turn it on and off from this menu, the easier way to do it is by swiping down from the top like this and do not disturb is right here. Under this, we got the phone ringtone. So if we go here, this is the default and a bunch of different preset sounds, or you can add your own. Under this, we got vibrate for calls. So by default, when you have your sound on, the phone is not gonna vibrate, but if you want it to make sound and vibrate, you can go here and there's a couple different options. Under that, we got the default notification and alarm sounds. So pretty much the same thing as the ringtone. There's a preset as well as a bunch of different options. And at the bottom, you can always add your own. And then finally, at the very bottom, we got a few different system sounds. So dial pad tones, screen locking sound, charging sounds and vibration, touch sounds, and touch vibration. This is all going to be on by default, but of course, if you want to turn them off, you always can. Now I'm going to show you how to change your system navigation. Now by default, as you can see here, the navigation bar is going to have the typical three buttons. Nowadays, I want to say most Android phones have this, but if you want it to look a little bit more modern, you can also use what's called gesture navigation. To do this, go to settings. From here, go to system. From this menu, go to gestures. And from here, go to system navigation. As you can see, again, by default, we are gonna have three button navigation, but if we go to gesture navigation, instead of three buttons, the navigation bar is basically just gonna be this one line here. And in my opinion, this is gonna make it look a bit more modern. Now, in case you've never used this before, let me show you how it works. To go home, swipe up like this. To get to your recent apps, drag your finger partially up. And to go back, swipe from the side. So as you can see, definitely real easy to use. And of course, if you want your navigation bar to look a little bit more minimalistic, this is definitely a great option. Now I'm going to show you how to use the dark theme. Now there is a normal way and a shortcut for this. The normal way is by going to your settings. From here, go to display. And from the display menu, dark theme is right here. So toggle it on. And we are now in dark mode. From here, you can also schedule it. So if you go here, as you can see, by default, the schedule is not going to be on. But if you want, you can have it turn on at a custom time or from sunset to sunrise. 
In addition to this, if you want a quick shortcut for dark mode, what you can do is swipe down like this, one more time, and in this menu, as you can see, by default it's not going to be here. So to add it, hit this icon right here. This is basically going to show you everything you currently have on the menu, and below this line, it's going to show everything you can add. So as you can see, dark theme is right here. To add it, press and hold, drag the icon to the other side. And now, as you can see, it is on there. So if we go back, dark mode is now in this menu. So no matter what you're doing on the phone, all you have to do to turn dark mode on or off is swipe down twice. And it's going to be right here. Now I'm going to show you how to actually turn off the phone. Now with a lot of phones, this might be kind of obvious. All you would normally have to do is press and hold the power key. But with this phone, when you do that, that's just going to open the assistant. So to power it off, we got a few different options here. First of all, you can swipe down twice like this. And the power icon is going to be right here. This is going to take you to the power menu. So pretty simple there. In addition to this, you can also press the power key and the volume up key at the same time. So like this. And there we go. The power menu is going to open like normal. Now I'm going to show you how to change your screen lock. As you can see, by default it is going to be a pin, and I also use the fingerprint scanner. But there are a couple different options here, so to get to these, go to settings. From here, go to security. So right here. From this menu, go to screen lock. Put in your current pin, and from here, you can choose between none, swipe, pattern, pin, or password. So definitely nice to get a few different options here. And then from here, if we go back to the main security menu, if you want to use face unlock or the fingerprint scanner, you can set those up right here. Now I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot with the T-Mobile Revel 6. Now there are two different ways to do this. The first way is pretty much the normal way, and it's real easy. All you have to do is press the power key and the volume down key at the same time. So like this. And that's pretty much it. You can edit it, share it, whatever you want to do. And in addition to this, if you're on an app, like maybe you're browsing the web or something, what you can also do is go to your recent apps and hit the screenshot button right here. And as you can see, this is basically going to do the same thing. And finally, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to change your screen time out time. This is definitely something you're going to want to do if you're doing a lot of reading, for example, and you want to make sure your phone doesn't fall asleep when you're using it. So what you're going to do is go to settings. From here, go to display. And from here, as you can see, screen time out is right here. So go here. As you can see, I currently have mine set to 30 minutes, but you can set it as short as 15 seconds or as long as 8 hours. Now, of course, this is definitely going to be different for everyone. It really depends on what you're doing with your phone. If you're not really using it a whole lot, you might want to have it relatively short to avoid draining the battery. But if you're doing a lot of content consumption, like maybe you're reading, browsing the web, looking at photos, something like that, then of course you can set it a lot longer. And this is going to make that kind of thing a lot more convenient. But this concludes my beginner's guide to the T-Mobile Revel 6 5G. Again, if you want to learn more about this phone, I will be linking to several other videos about it in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.